Did you know that there's water on the moon? Yes, you heard it right. For a long time we viewed the moon as a barren dry rock spinning in the sky. But like a plot twist in an intriguing novel, our perception is changing. Scientists are peeling back the layers of lunar mysteries, revealing that our moon isn't as dry as we once thought. It's a fascinating tale of scientific discovery and cosmic exploration. The moon, it seems, has been hiding a secret in plain sight. High-energy electrons, part of Earth's magneto tail, are weathering the moon's surface and, in the process, creating water. Imagine that. The same celestial body we've gazed at for centuries, considered desolate and devoid of life-giving water, is being hydrated by elements from our own planet. The discovery of water on the moon has stirred up many exciting possibilities but the question remains, how does this process occur? So, how exactly does the moon get its water? It's a fascinating process that involves the Earth's magneto tail. Picture this. High energy electrons from this magneto tail, which is a part of Earth's magnetic field, bombard the lunar surface. These particles are like tiny little chisels, weathering the moon's surface and in the process, creating water. You might wonder how we know this. Well, it's all thanks to a little something called the Moon Mineralogy Mapper Instrument. This tool has been instrumental in helping scientists assess how water formation changes as the moon passes through the magneto tail. It's like a detective picking up clues and piecing together the puzzle of lunar hydration. But why does this matter? You see, understanding the distribution and concentration of water on the moon is crucial for future crewed missions. And that's where the Artemis program comes in. Initiated by NASA, its objective is to return humans to the moon by 2026. And with this new understanding of lunar water, the moon doesn't seem as distant or as barren as it once did. This groundbreaking discovery not only changes our understanding of the moon's surface but also opens up a world of possibilities for future lunar missions. In a nutshell, water on the moon is not a myth, but a fascinating reality. The high-energy electrons in Earth's magnetotail are weathering the moon, resulting in water formation across its surface. This significant discovery not only helps us understand the distribution and concentration of water on the moon, but also opens a new chapter for potential crewed missions. Scientists are eager to further investigate the moon's plasma environment and water content at the lunar poles. With water on the moon who knows what other surprises the universe holds for us, stay curious and keep exploring. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay in touch with the latest in science.